the vaccine is safe for everyone. Federal authorities are recommending no one get the J&J shot for the time being while they examine a potential link to extremely rare blood clots. Six uh, oh. right here in Nebraska developed severe clots after getting the vaccine. One person has done. The White House says the decision to pause the vaccine is out of an abundance of caution and the pause will not have a significant impact on its vaccination rollout. And that's why the president took action earlier this year before the J&J vaccine was even authorized to secure enough Pfizer and Moderna doses for 300 million Americans by the end of July. The CDC committee will meet tomorrow to assess the six cases. The review, the review is expected to be completed within a couple of days. Iowa and Nebraska are following the federal recommendation to have temporarily stopped administering <coughs> the Johnson & Johnson and co-vaccine. Marla Lundak is taking a closer look wow. at what experts say and what that means for vaccinations here in the metro. She joins us live. Well, the pause in the single-dose shot is expected to last at least a few days, and local health officials say there's no reason to panic. That's because other vaccine supply is still strong and necessary action is being taken to ensure safety when it comes to Johnson & Johnson. I think we're doing exactly the right thing, which is to put a brief pause on the day and day vaccination so that we can examine these cases and ascertain whether they're related to the vaccine. And if so, are there any uh, modifications or precautions that can be taken? Health officials say the CDC and FDA are looking for common factors when it comes to rare blood clotting cases found in individuals who recently received their Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Although scary, they say it's incredibly rare. We have currently six patients out of 6.8 million patients that have been vaccinated who had this um, thromboembolic event thus far. Experts say it's too early to know for sure if the blood clots could be a result of low blood platelet levels or if they're occurring in people of certain ages. That's why the pause is taking place. <coughs> what's going on and how to avoid it. It could entirely be that down the road we'll say, okay, this vaccine is good, except for this particular group of people, since this vaccine in a different group of people who aren't prone to get issues. This week, the Douglas County Health Department had around 4,000 J&J doses planned, but Dr. Poor says they've now been switched. They received the notice uh, this morning that the, uh, we would switch the J&J clinics to shortage concerns. So what can we do right now? Experts say continue to get vaccinated and stay vigilant. <laughs> AstraZeneca wasn't any different. Uh, that is really Pfizer or Moderna. Those are uh, oh, Moderna, vaccines. I forgot. And at this time, until you know further what, what is going on with change. And health officials also say the condition of the woman here in Omaha who suffered one of those rare blood clots cannot be really stopped. How does it feel now? You see, kids, this is why I did not get the vaccine and still refuse to.